Oh, cool. All right, so in this case, what I have is 4 times e raised to the negative 0.3x minus 7 equals 13. So to do a problem like this, what I'm simply going to do is I need to isolate this e raised to a negative 0.3x. And to do that, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to undo all my operations that's being multiplied by this e raised to this power of the variable that I need to find. So the first thing we always do when I use our inverse operations to solve is we always want to undo addition and subtraction first. So I notice that I'm being subtracted by 7, so I'm going to add a 7 on both sides. So I have 4e to the negative 0.3x equals 20. Now I need to undo multiplication, so I'll divide by 4 on both, both sides. So I have e to the negative 0.3x equals 5. Now there's a couple different ways I could go from here. Um, I could simply rewrite this in exponential form, or I could also use my one-to-one -one properties of logarithms and take the log of both sides. Therefore, by taking the log of both sides, now I have negative 0.3x equals ln of 5. Divide by negative 0.3, and therefore x equals ln of 5 divided by negative 0.3. You could also just take this and convert it to your exponential or your logarithmic form. Um, e to the negative 0.3x equals 5. Convert that to logarithmic form would be ln of 5 equals negative 0.3x, which obviously you guys will see is going to be the exact same. So now I do ln of 5, and then I divide that by negative 0.3. And what I get, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is x equals approximately negative 5.36. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your exponential equation. Thanks.